Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Visual PowerPoint Graphs series, you are going to learn how to create designer pie chart in PowerPoint. Pie charts in PowerPoint are very boring to look at. Take a look at this one. It doesn't inspire, um, it, it's not very, very nice to look at. What if you could replace this boring pie chart with something as interesting as this? That is what you are going to learn today of how to create designer pie chart in PowerPoint. And it's very easy to create and you will learn how when we go to a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to insert the chart. So I go to insert chart and I'm going to choose pie chart option and I'm going to click OK. And there I am, I have the uh, pie chart and I can change the values here and I'm not, I'm not going to do any of that. So I close that and I have it here. The next step is to remove the chart title because it's always a good idea to have whatever that you want to include in the chart title included as part of the slide title itself. So I'm going to remove this and I want all the information inside the pie itself rather than outside. So I don't want the legend. So I'm going to click on the legend and I remove. Now this looks very interesting visually but it doesn't have any information so what can we do here we can add relevant data labels to make uh, each of these pi a lot more easy to understand so I go to this option here plus so I go to chart elements and I'm going to select this option called as data labels so I click here that automatically adds the values for each of the segments I also want the category name that like first quarter second quarter etc so I go to the small arrow on the right hand side and click on this option called as more options. When I do that, I get these label options. If you are using 2010 or 2007 version, you can always right click and go to format uh, data series or format uh, data labels etc. And that will take you through, uh, take you to a separate pane where you can make all the adjustments. In PowerPoint 2013, uh, the pane is on the right hand side and you can access the pane from these options here. So that is what I have done. And here as I mentioned earlier, I want to include the category name as well. So I place a check mark on this uh, radio button, uh, on this button. Now I have first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter appearing here very clearly. I don't want this anymore. So I'm going to close that. And if I want the size of this to be a little bit bigger I can hold the shift button while I increase uh, the size by dragging the corners so that looks good now I want the font to be bigger so I have clicked on one of these data labels and it automatically selected all the other data labels as well so I go to the font option here font group in the home tab and I'm going to increase it to the size that looks appealing to me and because all these segments are colored in dark color, I want to have this in white. So I can have a clear contrast uh, between the font color and the associated background color. You don't have to choose these uh, default color options. You can always go to design, go to change colors options, and you can choose any of these options. I usually don't go for the monochromatic versions because it's very difficult to differentiate one category from the other. So I safely avoid these. I only go for these options here. And one of the options that looks quite attractive is the second color theme. So I'm going to go to color two here and this looks beautiful already. Now I'm going to have a rim added to this so that it looks as if this pie chart is stuck on a button uh, which is uh, jutting out from the background. So what I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and choose this tool called as Oval Tool. While I hold the Shift button, I'm going to draw a perfect circle. As you draw the circle, you can pretty much see 
the size of the circle because you can, there is a bit of transparency added to it um, while you draw the circle. So this seems reasonably of the right size. I want to send this back. So right click, go to send to back and you can adjust the position to make sure that the pie chart sits comfortably in the center and middle. Now that we have the rim, we can choose to have the fill color of our choice. So I'm going to choose the tan color to fill this. I want to add shape effects preset and I have this preset. I can change any of these uh, colors. Maybe I can change this to a lighter tan color to make this look even more attractive. If you want to add say shadow to this, you can always go to shape effects, shadow and shadow option. Um, maybe if you want to increase the size of the shadow, you can always uh, go to format shape, shadow and increase the size here. Maybe increase the blur here so to make it look a little diffused. And there you have a button effect on the pie chart and there your pie chart is complete. Let me show you some interesting applications of these pie chart and I want to show you what are the various things you can do to make your pie chart look more attractive than the usual bland version. And the examples I'm going to show you are from our visual PowerPoint graphs pack. The first example is this one. As you can see here, the technique we have used to create this is pretty much the same. And I have used other design elements like uh, the silhouette of a hand and then I have the text that explains the things here. And you can always have more information here than the one that I have included and all it requires you to do is to go to the data labels and add the relevant data labels. Let me show you another example. This one is a designer pie chart which has the dials uh, which is set on a dial and you can see the percentage completion of a project shown as part of the dial and you can have the associated text that explains this diagram. This is far better than the usual pie chart that you see on the slides. And here we have taken this to a very different level where we have added a coffee stain as a design element to, do, to uh, create this uh, pie chart. And these are all the templates you can see from our visual PowerPoint graphs pack. And just because this looks like a photo, don't think that this is not editable. It is completely editable. Let me show you how. I click on this, I right click, go to format data series or I can go to edit data rather and here because this is 58% because it's 8.2 maybe if I were to say it is um, 9 what happens here so it is 61% so it is completely possible for you to edit the things you can have only two of these because naturally there is nothing here you can have just two and you can have the rest of the stuff uh, written here automatically that gets converted into the percentage because of the data label um, which shows the possibility of the value expressed as percentage let me show you another example this one is splash pie chart it is impossible to imagine that a pie chart can be like this and it still can be editable the truth is it is editable let me show you how this can be edited it is very simple once again you go to you click on that and you have this bounding box appearing and you have the option to right click and go to edit data. You can go to edit data option here and you choose say this is 15 here. So let us say this is 21. Let us hope. Let us assume and then automatically that gets changed. And apart from this center one, these are all just simple design elements. You can just move them here and there you have it looks like a splash of paint thrown on the slide and uh, this is a designer pie chart. Once you have the basic idea of moving away from the usual looking charts, you can let the creativity, the creative streak in you take over and you can come up with some stunning alternatives. If you don't have the time to create such uh, designer charts for yourself you can always take a look at 
are 320 plus ready to use data driven graphs for your presentations. There are more than 320 different options that allow you to create not only visually more attractive slides but also the slides, the charts that provide you much deeper insights like uh, this double thermometer or the speedometer chart or a funnel chart. Uh, in fact, this designer looking funnel chart is totally customizable and you have a butterfly chart, you have uh, this one which is a different infographic. There are tons of very useful um, chart alternatives available for uh, a business user. We recommend that you go and take a look at all the options available in our presentation process site. Hope you liked our tutorial on how to create designer pie chart in PowerPoint. If you want to go through more such videos like the one that you have seen just now, if you want to read more articles that improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.